what are things you look for well in a guy but i'll say in a girl i look for someone really funny you have to be able to make me laugh um i like smart smart girls you know that can i don't know help grow my mind i guess and i like someone who makes me feel really safe and secure and looked after all those good things and if you could change anything in your life what would it be no i think I think life is what it is and it'll become what it becomes and I wouldn't want to change it. Uh, Sergio Liberates. Describe the perfect romantic moment that you would like to have with your significant other. Um, mine would probably involve dancing and candlelight and soppy music. Yeah, I'm that romantic. Um, wham Bam Ram said uh what are your regrets from this year like things you wanted to do but couldn't um i really wanted to go to new york city this year and it just didn't happen we had so much going on with immigration and everything that it didn't so i'm kind of sad i didn't get to do that okay uh casey florida i feel like there's a lot of questions sorry casey florida um when you meet a new person, how do you come out to them? I'm pretty open. I generally um, am a tad bit of a pervert, so I tend to check girls out. I think it's pretty obvious that I'm gay. And, uh, yeah, if someone asks me about my boyfriend, I'll correct them and be like, I don't go there. So, I don't know. I don't worry about coming out. I just I tend to do it pretty abruptly and just let people sort of react to it. Okay, and Daft Tool when did we know we were gay i guess my early teens when was your first kiss i think i was about 12 uh first date i was about 13 first sex with a girl was about 12 and with a boy was about 14 13 14 i don't remember have you ever been bullied uh yeah i'm a short fat noxious girl i'm pretty much going to get bullied by the way i don't say fat in offensive terms it's just i i use it because i'm allowed to i'm just allowed it's like being gay i'm allowed to use the word dyke it just applies um have you or your friends had any experience with being bashed yeah kind of um we've had bottles thrown at us and stuff but never you know never to a really severe point did you lose any friends upon coming out no, not really, not really. Oh, no one important, I guess. Uh, if you found out that somebody you know was suicidal, how would you approach the situation? I would ask them if they wanted to talk to me and try and find out what was going on for them that was making them feel that bad. Uh, what's a good way to approach someone you're interested in? I, I'm very forward. I tend to just be like, I don't know, do you want to hang out? I like you. I actually just pretty much come out and say I like you, I suppose. I'm not very secretive about these things. My favourite cheesy pickup line. I don't think I really have one. I, I don't I don't tend to be I don't know, I don't think I tend to be cheesy. I probably am, but I, I don't know it's a I haven't really got one. Favourite drink used to be vodka and lemonade. Now it's probably orange juice, I guess, because I don't drink. Oh, favorite sport activity is dancing. Favorite music, movie, book, TV show. Favorite music, country. Favorite movie, Gia. Favorite book, Mayor of Heaven. Favorite TV show, Grey's Anatomy. Uh, have you ever been with the opposite sex? Yes. How was it? Pretty mediocre. Uh, what's your ideal woman, I guess, in both looks and personality? She's adorable, she's cute, she's funny, she's smart, she makes me smile. Career plans. Uh, career plans, I would love to own my own design firm, like my own design company for web design. Uh, marriage plans, already hitched. Let's see. Um, kids, I would love kids. I would love two kids maybe. I would like to have them myself, but it's really hard to find donors, so I don't know, maybe I'll adopt. Uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years, 20 years? In 10 years, I'll be 
34, I see myself with two children, a soccer mom, van, and a good job. 20 years, I see myself with two older children, a newer, nicer soccer van, sort of like a soccer mom car, and uh, I don't know, an even better job. I don't see life getting that exciting for me. Have you ever been caught masturbating? I don't think so. I, not that I can think of. Uh, having sex, yes. And giving a blowjob, that is too much information, but I did get busted doing that. Have you ever cheated or been cheated on? Yes to both. I'm a player, definitely. I've cheated on more or less everyone I've ever been with. Dumper or dumpy? Dumper. Uh, still friends with your exes? Yep. How often a day do you communicate with your significant other? Hundreds of times. Hundreds of times a day. Have you ever gone out with someone you met from the internet? Yeah, married to one. And Phil Forever said, if you could take a magic potion or pill or something and just instantly become straight, would you? I would, provided I could never remember being gay and all my history was wiped. I would because I would be able to be more interactive with my religious community that I sort of grew up in. And at the moment, my sexuality kind of excludes me from that portion. So... I would probably be, you know, a happy wife with three children if the magic potion could completely make me forget everything else. And that's it. I'm not going to ask a question because holy moly, that was a lot of questions. Till next week, guys.